Hello and welcome to Boring Dad Gaming, where today I'm going to be starting a new playthrough on the channel. This is Between Horizons, which is uh, another demo I played as part of Next Fest ooh, a few months ago, probably. Uh, and I really liked it. It's um, by the same people who made Lacuna. Uh, if anyone played that, it's... Uh, well, I certainly did. It's, it was like a cyberpunk uh, detective 2D type game, and it was really good. Um, but Between Horizons just felt like they'd, you know, sort of taken that uh, formula and, uh, and it expanded a little bit, you know, so it was, uh, you know, taking it that next step further. Um, yeah, so we're uh, on a colony ship, um, and I think, you know, we, we investigate cases and stuff, and we have to sort of come to conclusions, and, uh, and uh, yeah, it seemed pretty interesting. As you know, anyone who watches this channel knows I do like a good detective game. In fact, we just finished a very good one on the channel, Death Trick Double Blind. Uh, so we're going straight into one with a very different uh, setting, <laughs> I should say. So without further, without anything else said, let's, uh, let's just go straight into play and start new game. Okay, so progress is frequently auto-saved, um, so I think there is no manual save. All progress will be lost when you quit. You can neither manually save nor load a previous save point. There's no game out. So it's Iron Man mode, basically, uh, which is interesting. Um, hopefully we don't come into encounter any uh, serious technical issues. You can find many options in the game settings to customise your experience, turning off the time limit for dialogue choices and disable tutorials if desired. Okay, well, that could be worth looking at. Um... I must have been eight or nine years old when I first realized that I would never witness the Zephyr's arrival. As a small child, I often imagined myself stepping foot on Euros D, leaving the ship for the first time in my life. I didn't understand at the time that this was a privilege reserved for my grandchildren. I still remember the conversation I had with my father. He was uncomfortable about the whole thing, and I get it. People don't like talking about their children's mortality. Still, he made me feel better. He reminded me of the importance of our mission for the survival of mankind. We're the only egg in the second basket, he said, or something like that. The basket being Eurus D, a habitable planet just four light years away from Earth. And the egg, that's the roughly 1,300 people aboard the Zephyr. Everyone I'll ever know. Uh, okay, so E to advance the dialogue. I don't even know if it has mouse control. When prompted to pick one of multiple answers, use A and D to confirm and confirm your selection using E. Okay. Uh, no, no, thank you. Okay, so that was the intro was voice acted. I'm not sure that the rest of the game will be though. So we'll just sort of proceed uh, with myself reading it out. Stella, Stella, did you go to bed already? Uh, maybe. Uh, maybe? You need a checkup. You've been sleeping so much lately. I'm fine, Dad. Well, then you probably won't mind getting up again for a few minutes. There's something I'd like to show you. What is it? You'll see. It's a surprise. Okay. I'll be right out. Great. I'll be in my bunk upstairs. Okay, we've unlocked the PDA for cases and other stuff. As you make progress, journal entries are added to your PDA. Open it by pressing tab. Okay. Some tutorials briefly take over the controls. Fine. Uh, so we're in our PDA here. Uh, variety of crucial tools. Switch between tabs with R and Q. Okay. Uh, your progress and objectives are documented here. Organized by the cases you're working on. Entries that don't relate to a specific case are listed in general. Uh, it's good to give it. Yeah, okay. Mm, nope, that's fine. So I think it's... how do I move? Okay, okay, it's actually wazzed. I, so although she got up from that bed, there's, there's, no, there's no kind of depth to the scene. It's kind of left and right. Um, I think we can act, interact with stuff when it's highlighted. I'm pressing E. Okay. Oh, what was that? I know you're sick, but I have to go out for a bit, okay? I'll be back very soon. GG, kind of some kind of mutant cat thing. Okay. There was another... What's this thing? Oh, we can change our sort of background next to our bed. Okay. So E is the interact key. It just didn't act, interact on Chi Chi for some reason. Although I did read on this... There was a Steam forum post, and I think, you know, you just have to proceed with the main story for a little bit, and then you can interact with Chi Chi. Um, I do just want to maybe go into the settings uh, and just 
see what else we can... Um, I might get rid of the dialogue timer because I'll be reading it out and also trying to consider my choices a little bit. Uh, text scroll, okay. Uh, that's probably... I'm gonna keep the tutorial... well, I did play the demo. Maybe I'll, let, maybe I'll disable the tutorials. Uh, let's go back. Okay. Okay, we've unlocked the... Oop, new evidence, my bunk. I don't know what kind of evidence is in her bunk. I don't really want to know. I knew that Dad was worried about me. He'd Hang noticed on. that I'd been sleeping a lot lately and virtually stopped socialising. I wasn't sure at the uh, time. Okay, so if we go to the right, there should be I it harder and harder stairs. To get uh, so, I, oh, okay. At certain points, then I can press W and we'll go into the background and be able to go up and down stairs and stuff. That's cool. So I think it's kind of described as like a 2.5D game. You know, you've kind of you've kind of got a third dimension a bit sometimes. I think this is Dad's, right? What is it you want to show me? Our messages from Earth for the arrival day celebrations came in earlier. Already? Arrival day is still weeks away. Yeah, they always send the messages in advance, so to be sure we have them in time. Earth is a surprise for us this year. What surprise? Tell me already. Everyone got a private message from their relatives. We got our own personal message from Mom Stella. Can you believe it? Navigator Joseph already related to me. Do you want to see it? Yes, of course. Okay, here we go. So this part is only for my family, right? Okay. Hi! Oh my god, I haven't prepared anything. They only just told me I could say something to you guys in private. How are you out there? I hope things are going better than they are on Earth. We've been having rolling blackouts again. I was so worried they'd get in the way of this recording. Anyway, I wanted to say that we recently received the video you sent last year. Stella, I'd never seen you in that uniform before. Wow. And William, you look like you haven't aged a day. Still a handsome young man I met 40 years ago. Remember that night? We were on a ship of all places. What was it called? Something Sparrow? Oh, or I'm mixing it up now. I'm so proud of both of you. The mission is such an incredible... Enormous thing you're doing. Everyone on Earth is rooting for you. It's been so many years since you left, and it still doesn't feel real. I really hope these messages get to you. I worry about it every year. I don't know how they do it, it's all magic to me. You'll see more of me in the public video, unless you watch that already. Happy arrival day! You say that, right? Love you both. That was it. Seems like they weren't given much time to record these. I'm just glad she had the opportunity at all. Is this going to be part of the early update from now on? I don't know. Maybe there's something about it in the other files. They just came in an hour ago. Don't tell anyone about it yet, okay? Uh, everything all right? Are you all right, Dad? Something your mom said had me worried. What? There's no way she forgot the name of the ship where we met. I... I have to talk to the captain. There's been some weird um, capitalization errors I've noticed. Like, Sparrow probably should have been capitalized if it was the name of a ship. And also his first I there. Uh, is lowercase, that's kind of weird. About... about Mum? Not directly. It's complicated. This can't wait, sorry. I'll explain later. What the... Okay, mysterious. Some kind of secret code to our dad in her message, maybe? Getting a call. What's going on tonight? Sergeant Adelric? Assistant Chief Stella, are you with your father? He just left. He wants to talk to the captain. Then maybe you can step in. Could you come talk to me at the security office? Sure, I'll be there in a minute. Are you all suited up? I am. Why? You might have to look into something. I'll explain when you're here. Okay, so if we have a quick look where we're going uh, for... to meet him. Uh, Oh, I can highlight things. That's the security office. Okay, so cool. So we want to... Uh, there is a lift. I think we can actually go keep going to the right and then down in the lift. That's probably a decent path to take. Dad seemed to be pretty shaken up, but I didn't understand why this detail was such a big deal to him. And what did the captain know about it? 
We can run as well with shift. That's cool. Uh, this is Captain's office. Okay, I don't think we, need, we don't need to go in there right now. I think that's where Dad is right now, actually. Uh, but we use the elevator here. So we're on floor four, so it's just one down, I think, isn't it? Or is it? Uh, no, actually, it, says, it actually tells us what's on the level, so let's go level two. Cool. And if I just look at this, does it... Okay, that's a locker room. So yeah, we're technically general population, but I see myself more as crew. Or like it matters. We have universal access, guns and armor, all forbidden to population. So, we're not allowed to handle chemicals in the lab. Neither is the captain for that matter. We all have a role to play. That's not the same. And I think it matters whether we see ourselves as crew or population. Well, my bunk is in the residential area. Where's yours? And how do your neighbors look at you lately? Assistant Chief Stella, do you need anything? No, honestly, just took a wrong turn. Sergeant Adelric called me to the security office. Good, we're about to head out anyway. Let's get back to work. Assistant Chief. Okay, yeah, I just kind of wanted to um, get the get the room on my map. So we kind of know where everything is. As soon as Poss. Alright, security office. Uh... I don't think that's who we're here to speak to. Maybe it was. Alright, I guess this is Adolric. Good evening, sergeants. Assistant Chief. Hey, Stell. Paul, oh, address her properly. Oh, come on, Dad. You can call me Stella. It's alright, Adolric. I don't need to hear my own title all the time. As you wish. But I would like to point out that your father places great importance on procedure. Anyway, let's talk about the reason I called you. A door in the network area triggered a security alert. We had some false reports due to defective sensors lately, so it might be nothing. However, I tried to check in with programmer Aaron, who works down there, and he isn't answering his PDA. It's possible that he is wearing noise protection, but we should make sure everything is alright. Could you take the elevator down to the inner hull and have a look? Of course. Should I ask an enforcer to come along? I don't think that's necessary. Programmer Aaron should be in the network office. Alright, I'll make sure he's okay and report back. <laughs> um, I'm not going to talk to people before I have to. I think I'm just going to sort of pursue the story until it kind of opens up a bit more for us. Um, but we will look at our map. So, uh, we could take the lift down to floor probably zero. I think this is where we want to go, isn't it? I think that's where we want to go. Ah, but if I look... Take the elevator down to the inner hull. Network office. Yeah, yeah. So level zero. Elevator. It seems okay. Or is it level... It might be level minus one, actually. Okay. So it's just the bottom floor, isn't it? Has she, got a, she has just got a little torch on down here. That's kind of cool. What the... What happened to the door? Uh, I think we're okay to go through. That's the network access point, but we want to go to the network office, which was the one further along, I think. I think that's the end of the hall, isn't it? What's this? Not sure. Programmer Aaron! Aaron, are you alright? Oh... Aaron, what's wrong? What's happened? My head... Oh, it hurts so bad. It's bruised in the back. Can you move? It is? Oh, ouch. What happened? I think someone was here. Someone was here? What do you mean? I... I went to the cafeteria for my evening break, but I returned a little earlier than usual. I've been working on a new data routing algorithm today, and I had an idea I didn't want to forget. When I came back, the door to the network area was broken. I wanted to check if everything was alright in my office, and when I came in here, there was someone standing next to my desk. What? Who? I don't know. I think a man? He was wearing a disguise. I turned to run back out, but he jumped me. He hit my head with something. That's all I remember. Shit, give me a second, I'll, I'll get help. Dad? Something happened down here. Aaron was attacked. 
Attacked. How is he doing? He seems okay, but his head's bruised. I'll send a medical team. Who attacked him? I don't know. He said the person was disguised. Seems like they broke into the network area. The door at the entrance has, had been cracked open. I'll inform Sergeant Adelric and join you as soon as I can. Do you have your weapon on you? I... yeah, I do. Good. I'll be there in a few minutes, okay? In the meantime, you should have a look around and talk to Programmer Aaron. Maybe you can find out what the intruder wanted in the network area. Okay. Watch your back. I'll be there soon. Alright, so now we will talk to Aaron. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Let me think. Uh, okay, well we could start- we could work through all these, I'm sure. Do you have any idea what the intruder was doing in here? I haven't had much time to think about it yet. But since we're in the network area, I'd wager a guess and say it was something network related. I can take a look around, see if I notice anything unusual. No, you should take it easy until the medical team is here. I'll investigate the rooms and let you know if I find anything. Thank you. Let's think. What do I... F okay, what, what's in this area? The various ship networks can be monitored from here. You can access them via the terminals next door, but only if you have access rights or my special tool. I see. Let me think. Okay, for now that's all. Alright, but I think... This is his tool, is it not? Oh, that goes in there. Okay, I'm pretty sure we need that thing that's on the floor. Maybe we have to just follow the threads until we can pick it up. Okay. What am I supposed to do? There might be like a ping thing that the tutorial would have explained, but I haven't... Uh... <laughs> I've disabled it. Uh... Yeah, I think there is like a little ping thing. Um... I might just have to press keys until I figure out what it is. Nope, that's the door. Darn it. I knew I shouldn't have disabled this tutorials. Hang on. B, C, X, Z. Space. Ah, space. There we go. Okay, yeah, so now we've got stuff we can look at. So, uh, hang on. This device on the floor looks out of place. Maybe programmer Aaron can tell me more about it. I should show it to him. Yeah, let's do that now, because I think that's how we interact with stuff, using that. Uh, F, I think we present an item. Uh, so yeah, so let's, uh, let's pick that. Do you know what this is? Of course, that's one of my tools. Where did you find it? Next to the door to the network access point. I definitely didn't put it there. Do you think that the tool could have been used by the intruder? I'm sure. You needed to access and manipulate the data on the terminals and the network access point. So that's probably what they wanted in here. Is there a way to find out what they did exactly? Oh, would be a good start if we knew which network they manipulated. I'll grant you access to the terminals. Thanks. What can I see on those screens? Each terminal shows a visualization of data that was sent through the respective network over the past 24 hours. Ferret created the visualization a while back to make it readable for non-technical users. The left side is data being sent and the right side is data being received. If a network was manipulated, there should be some irregularity on one of the terminals. I'll have a look. Thank you. Okay, can we... the other stuff we can see. Do I take that? Oh, it's already in PDA. Okay. Uh, can't look at that yet, so let's, uh, let's go back here. Okay, let's look at the first one. I guess we've gathered that. Do all of them. Uh, okay, so we're going to our dashboard. Uh, cases. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So how do I? Oh, no, 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 not cases, not cases. Uh, evidence is what I want to look at. Uh, I think I can just see these here, can't I? So... Uh... 
Um. Okay, I don't really get it. Um. The amount of data. Oh no, I kind I kind of get it. Uh, I think the amount of data sent on the left side should be the same amount as the data received on the right side. And I think it's right because I think uh, the f I think the four pips on the top. Uh, when combined with the two pips on the bottom, I think become a full square, which would leave the two pips on the top. So I think that one is correct. Uh, this one... Okay, so let's move the... So the box on the right and the two pips moves down. Then we have five, which is correct. So that one seems okay. Uh, this one... Um, Let's see, so if we, I think that's right, because the two, the two, if you use the two pips and the two pips, it becomes a full square, which then leaves us with two full squares and two pips, so I think that one's correct. Um, that Those four pips turn into a full square. Um, the two pips, uh, well, let's say four. Four of those pips turns into a full square, so that's two full squares and three left over remainders. So that is correct as well. And let's look at this one. So the four become okay. So the middle one on the left is the same as the top one on the right. Uh, the top one on the left becomes a full square like the bottom. So we need three pips. We've only got two. So it's the PDA network terminal has uh, an extra pip on the right hand side, I think. So let's go back to. Oh, hang on. Let's go back to cases. Uh, the intruder. So, was it PDA we said? I think it was. Or. Hmm. No, it's not that one. Did I say it was PDA? I can't remember now. What, is the, what was it in the evidence? PDA. Let's. Hmm. I'm not sure now. Was it PDA? Oh yeah, because on the right there's one next to the full square. That's the remainder. Okay, so back to cases. It is the PDA network. Uh, which terminal did the intruder manipulate? Yes, it is this one. Definitely. Okay, submit. Yes. Stellar, everything all right. Programmer Aaron, how do you feel? I feel all right, Chief, but I'll get myself checked out to be sure. I found out what the intruder was up to. He manipulated one of the ship's networks. Good job. I think I even know which one. Could you have a look, Programmer Aaron? Of course, let me see. Yes, you're right. Looks like some malware was injected into the PDA network. You agree? Excellent. Excellent work, Stellar. Listen, I actually came out here to tell you something else. I've been thinking about what the intruder's plan was exactly. These terminals in the access point only contain very recent information flowing from each network to our central servers. If the guy was after recent data, he could have accessed it right there using my tool, but he may have injected malware instead. The terminals are connected to the big servers down the hall for regular backups. Maybe his plan was to exploit this connection. For what purpose? I can only assume to override access rights so he can extract historical data from there. Would he have to physically go there to do that? Correct. Stella, follow me, now. Run. Hey, stop. Stella, let's go! Enough! One more step and I'll shoot! Lie down flat on the ground, now!
What happened? He... Uh, the door is crushing me. What can I do? Why is it closing? They're sealing up. There must have been a breach. Where's the override? I don't think there is one. Oh shit, what should I do? What should I do? Stella, listen to me. Oh, Sparrow was our code word. What? What are you talking about? Liz tried to say something's wrong. Where's the override, Dad? Dad! Dad! I think that's it for Dad. And his body will be returned to the ship. He will stay with us until all of our journey ends. On a more personal note, I want to say that William was not only the best chief of security I could have ever wished for, but also a dear friend. I did not expect him to go before me, and I was not prepared for it. I don't think I could have been. I would also like to take this opportunity to put any rumours to rest. William's death was a deeply unfortunate combination of circumstances. He was in the wrong place at the wrong time. A cargo box came loose due to a malfunction and pierced a hole in the floor of the inner hull. Air began to stream out into the vacuum of the outer hull. The resulting loss of air pressure caused the emergency doors to shut. Thanks to the swift intervention of our brave mechanics, the breach could be contained shortly thereafter. However... I kept staring at the notes for my speech, even though I wasn't reading a word of it. We had agreed to frame my father's death as an unfortunate accident, to keep the intruder a secret in the name of public peace and safety. It was our highest imperative. If there was a person between the ship's population and their safety, they would get crushed by design. There was no security override to save the individual. In a way, this concept made sense to me. It had to. After all, I was the chief of security now. Cool. I don't know if that's where the demo ended or where I just stopped playing because I didn't want to do too many spoilers for myself, if nothing else. Um, but yeah, no, I'm looking forward to seeing what comes next. Before we do anything else as well, I'd just like to say thank you to the uh, developers and publishers for uh, sending me uh, a code for the game to review, well, to play, uh, which very much appreciated. Thanks very much. Um, and I'm very much looking forward to doing more. Now we can talk to Chi Chi now. I'm so glad you're doing better, Chi Chi. I have some things to take care of. Don't go running off again, okay? Who's the best girl? Of course we're gonna pet Chi Chi. You're all right, you are, that's right. Aw, Chi Chi. Uh, we can show Chi Chi stuff. What should we show Chi Chi? Should we show her evidence? <laughs> um, Oh, it's all technically evidence. Uh, okay, why don't we show her my bunk? <laughs> She's not, Im not impressed. Uh, hang on, can I do a, can I do a ping in my own room? Does it reveal anything? Not, not, not especially. My handbook said that I had to allow myself to grieve, live through the pain to overcome it. I tried to bottle it all up instead, but my thoughts kept circling to the events of that night. It had been weeks, and we still had no idea who we'd been chasing down there, or what they'd tried to accomplish. I kept thinking that things would have played out differently if only I had acted faster. I worked a lot to keep my mind in check. Everybody was out celebrating Everybody. the Bible day, but I was glad that the captain called me over. Okay, so yeah, so what I want to do is just check this and just kind of see uh, what's on this. Happy Arrival Day. Might as well read what Arrival Day is all about. So today marks the 33rd Arrival Day, with 100 left to celebrate on the ship. A special presentation awaits tonight at the Earth Museum, followed by a screening of this year's messages from Earth. Alright. Uh, cases, we don't really have anything just yet. Uh, this is just general stuff. Uh, evidence. Okay, leader of the... That's uh, Talia's the captain. Okay. Comms. Lewis, engineer. What? 
I don't just don't understand you. You've always been a little closed off and paranoid, but it got so much worse over the last few weeks. I know you're going through a lot, but I don't even know how to help you or if it's possible at all to get through to you. Don't expect me to come running after you anymore. If you want, we can talk sometime in the future when you feel better. All right, thanks, passive-aggressive Lewis Engineer. Talia, good evening, Chief. I'm sorry to disturb you on arrival day, but there is something we need to discuss as soon as possible. Please come to my office immediately. There's our dad. That's just a conversation we had. Aaron, likewise. There's me. Uh, Adelric, just the conversations we had. And Bodo, likewise. That's good. So we get like the messages from uh, particular people to read, but also a log of our conversations with them. So that's pretty cool. I uh, just want to check the map as well, see where we're going. I think we already found the captain's room, though. Uh, it's up there, isn't it? So we want to go... I mean, we could go... Actually, we can't go all the way to the right. I don't think there's a floor there. Um, so we could go... I think we just got the stairs into the right, don't we? Yeah, okay. We can run upstairs as well. Oh! <laughs> Smack bang into a box. Let's go see what the captain wants. to Elias. Chief Stella, I am sure you're here to see the captain. Just go on through whenever you need to talk to her. If she's too busy, she'll let you know by locking her door. Oh, I know. Thank you. Captain Talia, you want to talk to me? Chief Stella, thank you for coming so quickly, especially on arrival day. Unfortunately, some matters cannot wait. During a routine inspection of the inner hull B, Enforcer Bodo caught Janitor Rose removing plating from the wall. She was in the process of retrieving a piece of paper hidden inside a secret compartment. A piece of paper? We secured it. Please have a look for yourself. It's on the table over there. Okay. So, we should go in here and have a look at evidence. Suspicious letter! Hello again. Thank you for your message. We have great sympathy for your struggle. You are not alone in thinking that more democracy is needed on the Zephyr, and our cause grows stronger every day. Come to the Arrival Day installation in the Earth Museum tonight. Talk to one of the job representatives and mention the word freedom. The symbol on this letter will be on their uniform, not necessarily in this colour. Another hint can be found inside this very compartment. With this, you should have all the information you need. Job representatives mention freedom. The symbol on this letter, which is the three stripes, uh, will be on their uniform. Okay, so that could indicate what's three stripes? Generally, like a like a sergeant or something, I guess. But not necessarily. It could have could have a different meaning on board this ship, couldn't it? Uh, should we just talk to her about the letter? What do you make of this? I was hoping to get an assessment from my chief of security. Well, it sounds troubling. The wording is a little opaque, but. Unless it's some sort of game, it seems like someone is trying to put together a dissident movement on the ship. The fact that the letter was hidden inside a wall doesn't exactly make it less suspicious. I agree. What's more, it reads like this is not the first letter in this communication. Do you think that whoever wrote this has something to do with... Let's not jump to conclusions, but we need to find out what's behind this as soon as possible. Division among the population could jeopardise the mission, especially if it goes unaddressed for too long. Now, the letter contains instructions on making contact with another person at the arrival day festivities. We'll keep a close eye on the event later tonight. Until then, we have some time to figure out what we're dealing with. I need you to look into two things. I will open a separate case about each of them. Your first assignment. Find out the intended recipient of this letter. We already have a prime suspect here, Janitor Rose, who was caught retrieving it from his hiding spot. However, when Enforcer Bodo was leading Rose away, she ran into someone else who was not supposed to be down there. Who? Technician Lewis. Ah, passive-aggressive Lewis. His presence in the inner hull seems suspicious. We can't rule out the possibility that he was there to retrieve the letter, and that Janitor Rose just happened upon it. You know I don't usually intrude into your personal life, but I have to ask. Will you be able to remain impartial investigating him after that message he sent? Yeah, I think so. Yes, of course. Good. You might also want to have a look around Rose's and Lewis's bunks. 
Do I have permission to go in there? They are both sus suspected of degree six violation. The codex explicitly allows bunk searchings in this case. Right, of course. Your second assignment might be trickier. Get on the trail of the sender. The only lead we have here is that the note was written on a piece of paper. It makes sense since communication via the PDA network is monitored. However, paper is not distributed for private use. Hence, it must have been stolen from a public space. As far as I know, there aren't many places on the ship where you can get your hands on it. All of them should be in the public area. Ask, ask Sergeant Adelric about potential sources of paper. He knows the daily goings on better than anyone in the crew. Don't tell him why. I suggest you and I keep the contents of this letter to ourselves until we know what we're dealing with. Did you get all that? Uh, yes. Yes, Captain. Once you've submitted your results in both cases, come talk to me again. Yes, Captain. Okay. Well. Oh, one more thing, Stella. I know how hard it is to lose someone you love, but you shouldn't think that you're letting your father down if you stop torturing yourself. I'm fine. Our mission needs a strong, reliable chief of security, especially now that this letter has surfaced. Can I count on you being that for us? Of course. I'm aware that none of this is easy. You are very young, but I need to know that you will try. Understood, Captain. I will. Good. We'll talk later. Dismissed. And happy arrival day. Happy arrival day, Captain. Talia rarely let the mask slip, but I'd been seeing it more and more lately. She'd gotten visibly angry the other day, which I'd never seen before. She wasn't taking Dad's death lightly and probably felt increasingly isolated. Or maybe I was just projecting. Okay, so I'm inclined to search the two rooms first before we even speak to them. So, uh, where do we go for that? Uh, well, we want bunks, don't we? Where's, where's... Well, wow, okay. Uh, wow, the ship's kind of big, huh? <laughs> okay. Oh, residential area. Ah. Biological area. Command area. Inner hull. Inner hull. Public area. Bridge. Goodness me. Re and residential. Oh, it maybe goes round in a loop. Um, let's see. If we fast travel to the residential area. I imagine that's where they're going to be, right? Their bunks. Okay. So if I hit the map again here. Maybe I have to discover things first. Lucian, who are you? Debron. Don't really need to speak to anyone like that. Uh, maybe, well, I'll go back to that. Okay, okay, well, then maybe if we go up, then those question marks may be the ones I want. So if we, I can actually fast travel up there. Let's do that. Entirely helpful, was it? Uh, uh, right. Okay. Well, sky sky bar. Okay. So look at this. Oh, that's where I wanted to go. Um, but uh, hell, let's uh, let's just go up these stairs while we're here and see what that question mark is. It might be one of the bunks. This is ah, there we go. It's Lewis's bunk. Cool, well, that worked out. Uh, 
Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, I thought... I isn't this Lewis's bunk? It's my... it's my son's bunk. He's not here right now. Was he expecting you? Not exactly. Mind if I take a look around? Huh? No, not at all. Feel right at home. I'm sure Lewis will be back soon. So, Stella, how's your father? He, um... he died in an accident about a month ago. You didn't know? What? No. Oh, no. Oh, my dear William, I'm so sorry. How are you holding up? It's okay, I'm fine. You really missed all of it? The accident? The funeral? It was a pretty big deal. I suppose I did. I'm really sorry. No need to apologise. I'll stick around for a moment if that's okay. Alright, let's have a little look around his room. Note to Xena. Uh, oh, that's in the PDA. So stuff just goes in our... We, f we look at stuff and then it kind of goes in our PDA. So that's kind of fine, I guess. Uh, let's have a look at the note then. Probably under evidence. It says, Mum, please stay in here. Do not go out without me. Kind of weird. Okay, uh, let's see what she says about that, shall we? That message for you on the display over there, it sounds like Lewis wants you to stay here in his bunk. Oh yes, he placed it right by the door so I don't forget. Why can't you go out? And besides, don't you have your own bunk? Oh, he's just so protective of me. But sometimes I still go out. I went to the arrival day celebrations just last week and nothing bad happened. Well, they're today, so... Uh, that can't be. Last week? You mean last year? Um, yes, last year. Last year? Uh, okay, yeah, she maybe got like an Alzheimer's thing going on? Or some kind of memory condition anyway. Um, something seems to be wrong with her mental state. Do we, we could ask her about it. Zena, Zena, are you feeling all right? Huh? Uh, of course, I feel great. Are you sure? Sure about what? Never mind. Okay, well, we can talk to Lewis about that anyway. It doesn't seem to be anything else in here. Um, so I guess we leave. Uh, now I might fast travel then to... Oh, public areas. Well, we'll probably have to uh, do a bit of that anyway. So I'm going to uh, fast travel to this one. Oh, I can go... Okay, M to get the map. Well, that's probably good to know. Okay, so you fast travel to the nearest train station, not to the point uh, you wanted to. So, um, I guess I'm, I guess I'm here. So I basically want to go all to the left until there's stairs up, and then maybe we'll take all the stairs up. Wait a minute, is this just the sky bar again? Ah, okay. <laughs> right. Okay, just I'm getting getting to grip slowly with with the the map and how it works and and stuff. Um, it seems like a really it seems like a really big area, but actually it, I don't think it is particularly huge. But I think we go up to the top and then work down, perhaps. Um, so there should be a apartment here nearby. This doesn't feel right. How did I miss that? Rose's bunk. What? More to the right then, I suppose? Asher's bunk. Asher... Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't... I don't know who Asher is even, so I don't want to go in there. Just yet, anyway. Am I running... How do I get down? Ah, is that the stairs? Okay, that's the stairs. Oh, no, I want to I wanna get off at two. And uh, it's to the right. Rose's bunk. Janitor Rose, okay. Hey, what's that? Red roses. Not particularly... Well, is it suspicious? Janitor's board, maybe. OK, 
Okay, let's have a quick look at our evidence then. Uh, the janitor's board. The latest message on the board is from earlier today. It reads, I have a spill down here. Could you help me real quick? Much appreciated. Isaac. Who's Isaac? Uh, roses in a flower pot. A rare sight on the ship. People are allowed to grow their own plants, but very few engage in it because the conditions in the ship make it very difficult. Rose has always had a green thumb. I wonder if her given name somehow determined her obsession with flowers. Okay. Alright, well I think perhaps we've got everything we... Nothing on the surface particularly incriminating. Um, but I think perhaps we go to the brig now. Uh, my bunk, chief's bunk. Uh, I mean, that's the brig, isn't it? could talk well yeah we should go to the brig first i think and then we'll talk to the two guys well sorry lewis and rose who is uh, a lady where are we we want to go to the right oh. it makes it seem like it's a long way but it's it's not too far uh okay let's talk to rose first Janitor Rose? Rose, darling. Oh, this is a big misunderstanding. There's no need to keep me locked up like this. I'm the Chief of Security. Please address me accordingly. Oh, yes, of course. I'm sorry, Chief. You need to tell me what happened. What were you doing in the inner hull? Well, my job. I was on my way back from a clean-up. The engineers made a real mess down there. You should have seen it. Metal shavings and oily footprints everywhere. You were caught with a suspicious letter from a hidden wall compartment. Yes, dear, I, I was walking through the hallway and I spotted a place that seemed a little loose. Fixing this kind of thing is part of my responsibility. I wiggled it a bit and it just came off. There was a compartment behind it and that's where I found the piece of paper. Did you read it? I thought it was gossip, a love letter maybe. I had no idea. Why didn't you call security? I swear that's what I would have done next, but they showed up a few moments later anyway. Okay. Um, well, let's show her the uh, janitor's board. What she say about that? I found a message on the board in your bunk. Isaac asked you to come down into the in a hull and clean up a spill. You were in my bunk? I mean, I suppose it's okay if you need to take a look around, but you could have asked. I have the right. The codex allows me to do so in this situation. Did you go and clean up that spill? Yes, yes I did. See, I had a good reason to be in the hull B. That's when I saw the loose plate in the hallway. Why didn't you mention Isaac's message earlier? I didn't think of it. All oh, this whole ordeal has made me so nervous, dear. Well, the timing of his message does seem to line up. You found the note a short while later. See, I told you, it was just a coincidence. Uh, we could ask about the roses. These are some impressive roses. I don't know how you do it. Oh, the secret ingredient is love, dear. Okay. Now we've got Lewis. Technician Lewis. Technician Lewis. Come on, Stella. No need to be formal. Call me Chief. I'm Chief of Security now, and this is not a private encounter. Please address me appropriately. Okay, Chief. Why am I being detained? I didn't do anything. You'll be let go soon after questioning is complete. Relax. Why are you talking like a robot? I'm not. Stay on topic. What were you doing in the inner hull? What kind of question is this? I, it's not like I'm not allowed to be there. There aren't many places in this ship where I can be alone for five goddamn minutes. What about your bunk? Come on, Lewis, what were you doing down there? That's personal, okay? Let's talk to him about his mum. What are these things? Oh, they're just their bunks, okay. I talked to your mother. She was at your bunk earlier. At my bunk? What were you doing there? My job. This is when can the crew enter people's bunks on a suspicion? Come on, Lewis, this is a little more than a suspicion. She was probably happy to see you. She was. Lewis, she needs to go see a doctor. What are you talking about? Mum's doing fine. Then why are you hiding her at your place? I... You must have misunderstood something. You know the rules. Zena may have to move into the assisted living. You mean we should lock her away? Aren't you already doing that? She would receive the care she needs and... My mum left her husband behind on Earth to be here. That's how much she believed in it. Just to be locked away with the crazies for the rest of her life? Where I can visit her twice a week? Where she can only leave if a staff member feels like accompanying her? 
Is this how she's going to be repaid for giving her entire life to this mission? I'm sorry, Lewis. She has severe cognitive problems. You know how dangerous this can get for everyone aboard the ship. If she goes out unattended and... I'm looking after her. She won't leave the bunk without me. Please, Stella, don't tell anyone about this. I'll get her to a doctor if it keeps getting worse. Please don't take away the time we can still spend together. You just lost your dad. You have to understand how I feel. Is this why you're communicating with these people? Because you're hoping they'll change things and protect Xena in some way. It's you, right? They've been talking to you. You know what? Fine. A few days ago, I found an anonymous letter in my bunk. Somebody must have slid it under my door while I was at work. They asked me if I was dissatisfied with the situation of the Zephyr, and if I wanted to have a bigger say in how things are going. They instructed me to lean my doormat against the door in an upright position that night. As a sign, I wanted to learn more. So that's what I did. Seriously, that's treason, Lewis. What are you on about? I didn't breach the Codex in any way. I just wanted to know what these guys were up to, okay? The next letter showed up in my locker at work. I was instructed to write a letter on the back and leave it in a specific place. They described the precise location of the, a wall in the inner hull B. That's where I sent and received the subsequent letter. And Enforcer Bodo caught you on the way there. Yeah. So you lied to me. What would you have done in my place? I'll need to take a detailed statement on this whole exchange, but right now, time is running out. Do you have any idea who is sending these messages and what their goals are? No, they didn't say. My first in-person contact was going to take place tonight at the event. You mean the arrival day event at the Earth Museum that's about to start, correct? Do you know who exactly you're supposed to talk to? Not precisely. One of the performers. They split up the instructions across two letters, probably as a precaution. Besides the letter you found, there was another hint in the previous one. It said, my contact works in a Category 2 profession. Listen, Stella, you know me. I was never going to do anything illegal. I was just curious. Investigating this kind of thing is not your job. You know you're supposed to report it to security. For all I know, you were trying to get in on a distant movement that could jeopardize the whole mission. Dissonant movement? You've no idea what they're about, and neither do I. Then why did you signal to them that you were interested? You think it's so wrong what they're saying? You're part of the crew, but me? The general population barely has a right to know or decide anything. And I do. This is a mission and we're all part of it. And who came up with that mission? A bunch of dipshits back on Earth that aren't even here. Some of them died years ago. I'm tired of carrying out someone else's plans. The mission is not about your personal needs, it's about ensuring the survival of our species. That doesn't change the fact that we're the ones that should be making the rules. We spend our entire goddamn lives on this ship. I couldn't believe what he was saying. I'd known for a while that Lewis was unhappy about how certain things worked on the ship, but I'd never thought he would lose faith in the mission. I knew him better than almost anyone in the general population. If his views were this radical and I didn't notice, what about everybody else? Maybe the crew was losing touch. I knew we had to face this before it got worse. Okay, well I think um, we can probably go to cases now. Uh, the recruit, who was the letter addressed to? So it was addressed to uh, Lewis. Alright, we got that one done. Oh, Talia's message us, okay. Uh, Chief, I saw you submitted some first results. Please refrain from confronting any potential suspects with your findings for now. Come to my office as soon as you're done with the second case. Okay, so just to remind, our second case is the paper. Where was the paper taken from? Okay, and to do that, we need to start with going to Adelric. But I think we'll probably leave it there for this first episode. When we come back next time, we'll go and get on the paper... We'll follow the paper trail, <laughs> so to speak, and work out um, where this came from. And I'm, I assume we're going to try and catch the people at the, uh, the Earth Day, uh, Rival Day celebrations, which could be quite interesting. I'm not sure... Well, do we know what a Category 2... Uh, job is. I'm not sure I do. We might have to ask someone about that. Uh, I'm not sure. But anyway, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this first episode of Between Horizons. I, 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 I'm enjoying it. I think it's great. I think the pixel art's really cool. Um, enjoying the investigation part of things so far. Um, but you know, let me know in the comments what you think as well. And if you did enjoy it, if you could hit the thumbs up button, that's always appreciated. And if you're watching this and haven't already subscribed to the channel, it would be amazing if you could. So thanks very much, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.